the, the, the samples, of, for example, me chopping vegetables or herbs is something very comfortable. But those alarming samples, like the oven, is directly for me like a response of, oh, you know, I need to act or I need to handle because I'm used to that. with the environment and trying to capture it into sound, uh, some kind of pure sonic experiment. I assembled a little team of, of creatives that were connected to the, to the ID and were motivated to make something out of this and to think how far we could stretch it. And we were intending to involve different artists to make it musically interesting, to get these sounds and make music out of it. That was the initial ID. When we proposed the project to Nick, he was instantly motivated to do something with this because he's also, he is also very connected to music. So recording the vinyl is, I think, uh, a joint effort between, of course, Peter, who, uh, who recorded all the samples, um, myself with having a lot of connections in the, in the music industry, and of course, Amada uh, as a collaborator. I think we really were able to open our networks and to, to find the right people, and especially also the diversity of artists to create this vinyl. Vinyl for me is still the best carrier uh, quality-wise for music. Plus for a project like this, which is pretty conceptual, you want to tell a story. So vinyl gives you room, especially folded vinyl. We had a lot of room for the photography and the visual aspects of the project. I don't really see myself whether a DJ or a chef or, or one or the other. I think that what I really love to do is kind of entertain the audience that I'm working for at that moment. And I have that same feeling in the restaurant than I do, for example, on a festival or in a nightclub. You know, at that moment, I want to give my best to really bring them the best of times. Of course, you know, food doesn't belong in a nightclub. And I think that the music of a nightclub doesn't belong into a restaurant. But I mean, that's just two little fragments of, of that whole scope. So I think that, you know, capturing a moment for people and making them kind of smile and, and you see it in their eyes, you know, the moment they sit down, they relax or they stand in front of your booth and they kind of completely feel what you're doing, you see that, that sparkle and I think that sparkle as a chef or as a musician or a DJ is kind of the same result that you want to aim for. So in that way for me it's very, very similar. Um, with, with any track that I play for the first time, I want a good response from the audience. And if it's not there the first time I play it, I usually go back into the studio and I start making adjustments on, until I am you know, happy with the response that I get. For this track, I use my modular a lot. So many of the samples, I really you know, changed them, I edited them and then send them through a lot of the effects modules on the, on the modular recorded that back into the DAW and then played, uh, played with those. Um, and the bass line was quite important. In, I used my ARP 2600 for that one. And that will, when I had that one, I thought, yeah, this is, this is really the, the basis for this track and I, I can work from this. The track is called Electric Eel. Uh, so I ended up using uh, only the fish samples, which was a deliberate choice. And then I used the samples also in a sort of progressive order. So at the start of the track, you're hearing the, the door open, for instance, and you're hearing the, the, the lighting of the, um, of the furnace. And then towards the end, you're hearing, the, for instance, the, uh, the making of the dessert. So I, I really took um, a, a particular approach to working with these samples. The actual first time that I played it was at Circle um, without an audience. So, but I, I did see on on the stream and later on on the YouTube uh, video there was a lot of good comments about it. So that gave me a lot of confidence in the track as well. I really recognize and I directly respond how I respond to that in my kitchen. So for me, it's a natural sound that I hear, but. I could not really enjoy it being on the dance floor hearing that little bell going. So it's kind of confronting a bit, but um, on the other hand, that's also the beauty of this project, I think, yeah.